Waking Up With Waffles, the series where we stream early in the morning and we just kind of wake up together and have one heck of a good time. Thank you everyone for joining me this morning. We are going to continue playing the Moonstone Island, kind of exploring, figuring out what the heck we're doing, uh, enjoying the game, you know, all those sorts of things. Where are we? Um, last time we died, so we woke up to the Magic Man, and, um, yeah, I don't know where we're at at all. Apparently we're on an island with some sort of enemies. Zap them, tackle them. So. Welcome in, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for joining. I know we've got actually a few new people here, been spending some time with the um, Catholic forums, met some people on the Catholic forums uh, who've been joining us. Bubbles here. Good morning, Bubble. Good morning, good morning. How is it going? All right, so where the heck are... Oh, we're on the island. Okay, so it just put us right back on... Right back on the island where we were, so we didn't even... We lost a little bit of time, no money, and we're right back where we explored from, so... That is a good thing, I think. Now we just gotta figure out how the heck we're... doing things. Oh, there's stairs right there. Today is a good day. You didn't make it to the stream last night. We did just a quick little tester thing last night, but um, I finally broke through on my uh, weight loss journey. I've been stuck at like a plateau, and I finally broke through that plateau last night, which is incredibly good for me. So I am very happy to finally have broken through that plateau, losing weight again, uh, feeling good. Feeling very good about that. Uh, I'm on a vacation a little bit also, so it's nice to have a little bit of time off of work. Just enjoying... Just enjoying that. Some free time. Gonna go do some photos. Gonna go on adventures. Don't know all what we're going to do, but we've got plenty to do today. So, um... It's good. It, it's doing very good. I've got my script already and permissions to go uh, do some a little adoration video that I've been wanting to do. So we're going to get to do that. I get to shoot a video this week. Very excited for that. All right, level up. You need more. We're going to make the B the powerhouse. So B is going to be a absolute powerhouse here with a stronger tackle. Uh. Gemlin, you are going to be my little armor dude. So you're going to have armor and all that. Um, let's grab Brawl. Thank you. It is... Um, it, it's been very hard to get through this... Uh, this barrier. And now that I'm through it, I'm very very happy to have gotten through it but it's been a long hard journey and i've still got a lot of weight to go so uh you know i, I can't stop here but I'm, I'm very happy to to keep going Let's see don't need any of those we don't want too many cards right you get too many cards and all of a sudden you can't do anything because you have way too many cards in your deck. So we're going to skip most of these. Okay. Now that we've leveled up my team a little bit, we might actually be able to take on this boss that we randomly lost to because my team was too low level. So let's give it a try here. Let's recover our stamina. All right, let's try this dude again. Fight me. We're a little bit stronger. We got some more armor. I feel like we can do this a little bit better. As he one-shots my fluffy fox. <laughs> All right, let's... Let's 
All right, so apparently we can't even tackle him while he's got armor on there. Let's bash through. He's got way too much armor. Yeah, okay, you keep trying to... We're gonna charge up. Oh, we used charge on the wrong person, so that's a bummer. All right, Avalanche broke through his armor, but not very well. Wow. How is this guy even harder than last time? We, we almost beat him the first time we took him on. How is he almost beating us now? I don't... I don't understand how he's gotten harder. Does... Does, like, the boss level with you also? Like... I feel like he leveled up when we leveled up, and that feels unfair. <laughs> Gonna avalanche my poor bee. Let's break through that armor. Uh, we should have a lily pad. <sighs> Almost one shot the bee. All right, feed. Pass the bee, get that. We're actually dealing some damage here. We need some more, need some more bash, and we almost broke through his armor. I don't think we have any more healing stuff, so dude's gonna kick our butt once again. Goodbye, Fluff Fox. Oh, he lived. Bash, bash. Oh. All right. We broke his armor. We have one turn to do 20 damage. We did it. I don't know how we did it, but we did it. And our... Is our gremlin gemlin dead forever now? Or is he just knocked out? We got a mirror. What else do we get? Activate the tree? Fills us with strength. What's it gonna do? Stamina is permanently. Oh, that's cool. So you complete dungeons and you get treasure chests, you get um, special blueprints, and. Okay. That's really cool. However, it says we're missing one chest in here, so let's go... Where did we miss a chest? Okay, little, little platforming things here. That was kind of cute, I like that. There's one chest. We captured that, we went through there, we went that way. Then we went through here. Did that, we grabbed that one. And that took us to the boss. I wonder where we're missing... Missing the chest. It's 
It's weird. I want is it there's like is there a secret room? We're gonna run out of time. We need to go go back home, but I wonder, does that mean that there's like Legend of Zelda style, like secret walls that you can walk through or that you have to explode to walk through? It'd be very interesting if there was. I'm pretty sure we've explored all the rooms. Yeah, okay. So there must be some sort of secret that we can't access or don't know about yet. Is it over here, maybe? No. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're about out of time for today's day, so we need to teleport back home. Might as well explore as much of the island as we can, see if we can get... We really need more lily pads. Those lily pads are lifesavers, so I'd like to get some lily pad seeds or something else. But it looks like we explored this whole area. We've got plenty of flax for taming stuff, so we don't really need to worry about that anymore. All right, that's one dungeon down. That's one area explored. We've got money. We've got fish to fish. We got new blueprints. I'd say we're kind of ahead of the, the ball game here. Let's see, I didn't water these today, did I? Water those up. There is, uh, League of Legends is launching a cozy Stardew Valley game here soon. And apparently so is Lord of the Rings. And then there's Paleo Valley coming out and then Paleo on Switch. And, like, there was a time when Minecraft was, like, everyone was making Minecraft clones. And then everyone made, like, clones of, um... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Fortnite? And it seems like we have entered the cozy gaming Stardew Valley clone era because that is all we're going to get for the next, like, month. Or, excuse me, year, it seems like. Cause we're just going to be getting cozy Stardew Valley games, which I'm not, I'm not dissing. I don't mind that. I loved Stardew Valley. I'm enjoying this. I, I liked Paleo for a little bit. I don't mind cozy games, but most of them are kind of the same game, right? So, like, if you release 10 Stardew Valley-like games in a row, people are going to get burned out on it, right? You can only be so cozy. You can only enjoy so much cozy gaming, right? So, um... I, I am concerned that we're going to be flooding the market with it and it's going to be boring after a while. I'm all for cozy games. I just wish they were different. That, that's what I'm saying. Like, uh, you know, the the uh, Paleo Pines looks like Stardew Valley, but you can ride dinosaurs. Like, that's a cool little gimmick, but that's not a that's not an entirely different game, right? That's that's the same game with a small little gimmick added to it. And that. That's my concern, is that these games are just going to be 
the same game over and over and over and over and over again, and that's going to get really old really fast. And like, I'm interested to see what the uh, the Lord of the Rings one is, because it looks like it's like a Hobbit hole management sort of game. Hobbit holes are are cute and interesting, so maybe that one will be good, but. After seeing the Lord of the Rings Gollum, I don't exactly have um, high hopes for anything being made by those studios. I know it's unfair to judge them all by that game, but that game was was atrocious. <laughs> that game was fully atrocious. Alright, not a whole lot going on here. Oh, that fox almost jumped off the cliff to get us. Ooh, there's a star. What's the star mean? Something magic up there? There's a, a gemstone that's worth money that suspiciously looks like a rupee, but totally isn't a rupee. Nope, that's not, that's not a Legend of Zelda thing at all. Alright, what do you do? Okay, you teleport us to an island of death. Good to know. <clears throat> we uh, we don't need to die, so we will hold off on exploring that. I guess let's go up on over here. Not a rupee, it's a furry. <laughs> oh, I see something on the map, maybe? Maybe we're exploring something up here? Going up, up style. Alright, this looks kind of like a big old nothing, but what do we got here? There's a waterfall. Ooh, lily pads, we want those. Oh, I was supposed to harvest that for uh, seeds. We need some way to like swim. Or maybe bridges, I think they mentioned bridges. Wooden path bridge. Is this okay? So it does work. Okay, so you can cross rivers, but you're going to need a lot of bridges which require wood and stone. So we're gonna have to collect more wood and stone. Might as well, while we're here, collect that, I guess. That's very, very cute little bridges. I like that. Ooh, that dude's giant. And there's a hole, okay. What do we got here? We got a giant Pothos. Oh, he's a boss, okay. So when they're giant, they're bosses. That is good to know. We need more bash. We need more things that break armor. We do not have enough stuff to break through armor. There's all my bashes.
All right, he's stunned for one turn. Ooh, we got a good move right here. Deal the damage, B. You having tons of fun with uh, Tears of the Kingdom? Have you beat it yet? Or you just take it nice and slow, exploring the whole world? I know it's not your jam, but it's good. I definitely disagree on it being good, but I... As many people have told me, I have no taste, so that, that may be more about me than anyone else. <laughs> Oh, I can look at him. Okay, so... Can I, like, capture the boss? Am I gonna waste a turn on this? Can I feed him? Well, we're not gonna find out, because we're gonna take this guy out this turn. Give me all the experience. Level everyone up. Oh, you get... Okay, so you get bonus experience for... Untouched bonus experience for Basham, and we got an egg off that boss. We need to build a barn so we can figure out, uh, like, our team. We can get more people and all of that. Okay, we found a mine with two treasure chests. Just started it, taking it slow. Don't think I'm going to beat it till around Christmas. Took me over two months to beat Breath of the Wild, and I don't have a ton of time to play games. Yeah, I understand that. But that's not, that's not a bad thing, right? Like... It's okay to be able to savor games and enjoy them. One of the, one of the things I was just talking to Emmy about actually is um, how frustrating like no lifers are. And I'm I'm gonna so here's my rant of the day. And I'm gonna start by saying you know I'm not saying this to disparage anyone, and I don't want people to feel bad. But at the same time, like I started playing Monster Hunter Go, which is a it's Pokemon Go but Monster Hunter because I like Monster Hunter. Super fun game. And the first few days I leveled up pretty good. I was like, hey, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So I went out to the forums to talk about it with people. And there were literally people who played the game for 48 hours straight. It launched and they nonstop played the game for 48 hours. You know, they've already beat the game three times through. And they're already super powerful. And it's like, I don't I don't have anyone to play with. Y'all are just no life in the game. Like, yeah. And I, I hate the phrase, but like, go outside and touch some grass. Do something else. Do you really... Do you really need to play games for 48 hours straight? And, like, whenever a new game comes out, and there's always, like... When Grand Theft Auto uh, V came out, there was a big how to do, because someone, as soon as the game came out, that evening, he was posting spoilers for the end of the game. Like, he, he nonstop played the game for, like, 20 hours just so he could be the first person to show off the end. And, like, I get that they're single-player games, and I get that doesn't necessarily affect me, but it's really frustrating that there's these people out there who just do nothing but play the game for hours and hours and days and days and weeks on weeks on end. And then those are usually, in my experience, the same people who go and ruin it because they're like, well, there's nothing to do in the game. Well, of course there's nothing to do in the game. You played a game that was meant to be enjoyed slowly for an hour or two a day for nonstop for a week straight. Like, what did you think was going to happen? Of course you're miserable and bored of the game and it's not fun you've been non-stop playing it like you need you need something else to do it's just it's so frustrating and there's there's a person i know in real life who's like that they always talk about how depressed they are it's like you're unemployed and you do nothing but drugs and drink and play video games for 24 hours a day of course of course everything's all messed up why wouldn't it be all messed up like you're your brain is all fried from the non-stop drug abuse and playing video games. Go outside, touch some grass, go for a hike, do something else. And maybe you'll find that things are a little bit better, right? Like, it, it's it's just mind-blowing to me that people will say, Oh, I'm, I'm so depressed and I don't understand why. You say, okay, well, what do you do about it? Well, I don't do anything about it. Well, do you, do you see the problem, maybe, with that? Like, you have to... Uh, I think it was Tim Allen, Woody Allen, someone had a great quote on it who was basically like, I'm not saying depression doesn't exist, but I am saying you need to give yourself a fighting chance. 
And that's that's kind of what it boils down to. Like, if you're not doing things to give yourself a chance, like, then of course you're going to be absolutely miserable. Like, you need you need to give yourself a chance. Obtain the earth seal from the spring temple. We need fish. Okay, so we can sell some of that copper ore. I think we got copper ore. So we'll sell some of that copper ore. We need a furnace for ingots, but we don't have that thing yet. So we'll go to the smithy tomorrow. I used to love spending a cozy day just playing Sims all day, but like eight hours and I couldn't do it anymore. And like, that's fine. I, I used to, Emmy and I talk about how we used to really enjoy doing, um, like when World of Warcraft would come out, we would do like an eight hour gaming session. We'd eat some food and we'd play that game for a little bit. We'd just enjoy it. But you know what? After after that day or two, life would go back to normal. We'd go back to work. We'd go outside. We'd do other things. Like we didn't just just play World of Warcraft all day, every single day. And it's it's frustrating, especially if like the online games are infested with it. Like um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out, which was a Dead by Daylight game. Uh, and I was enjoying it. The game came out and I was just spending some time enjoying the game. By day three, I couldn't even play the game anymore because there were so many people that had no life to the game non-stop that they had memorized all the attack patterns, they memorized all the routes, they memorized everything. So it, it was like, well, how do you... How do you you can't enjoy the game anymore at that point because everyone's like, oh well you've got to you've got to play the game the right way. You've got to have all these things memorized and do all these special things. And how do you not know that you're supposed to go left and then right and then up and then right and then left and then up and then left and then up and then right and then right and like I didn't I didn't know life the game. I was just casually playing it for fun. And now all you sweaty nerds who've non-stop played the game for four days straight have ruined it because I can't I can't play the game anymore without looking up a guide and having to figure all that out. It's just it's not it's just not fun. And like I never want America to be like China. But at the same time, maybe they're on to something with the idea of your kids are only allowed to play games for so long per day. They get like two hours to play games and that's it. Sweaty nerds. I know I know it's harsh. I'm not saying sweaty as in physically sweaty. I'm talking about like the the sweaty, the, the term they use for people who who play online games too seriously. But it's it's just so frustrating that every game, especially PvP and online games, just get absolutely ruined by these people who know life the games. League of Legends is kind of in the same boat. I used to love League of Legends, but like you have to there's what, like 150 champions in League of Legends now? So before you can even like enjoy the game, you have to memorize 150 different characters and everything that they do and what item they can build and their sub builds and the different ways that you can play them. And like, you, you basically have to buy an SAT guide and study the guide for six months before you can even enjoy the game. And it, it shouldn't be that way. That's super, super frustrating. And I went on to the Grand Theft Auto uh, online a while back to try it and it was just, that's all it was it was cheaters hackers and people who are like well we're not going to invite you to the party because you haven't done this five million times before and we only want people who've done this before and it's just like the okay well so there's no online game for me to play anymore because i haven't spent the last five years playing that game and nothing else like it's it's so frustrating all right we need to build a furnace because we need to upgrade our tools so oh we have a furnace and we'll put it right next to the tent that seems safe oh wait we need coal How dare you have a life? And like, I, I get it. I get that I, I play video games probably more than some other people. And they probably look at me and say the same thing. Like, oh, you need to go outside, touch some grass, get a life. I understand that I'm probably similarly in that boat to some people. But 
it's just so frustrating that, that, that there's just so many games that you just can't enjoy because other people have decided that they're just going to play that nonstop for the weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks on end. And that there's just no reprieve from it. All right, we've got this. It's still early in the day. We've got some flaxseed. Let's go back into that thing. Let's go back to the island we were at and finish exploring that dungeon. Uh, we've got some stuff to make it easier. We've got a little bit of time. So up we go. Okay, we need to build a bridge to go over to that as well. That's like another increase our overall stats, so we'll want that. And maybe I'm just a hater, you know, maybe... Maybe I'm just a hater, but I feel like I'm justified in telling some people that you need to get away from your computer and go do other things. And I'm guilty of that sometimes, too. The other day I was having a, a depressive episode. I was having a bad day, and Emmy made me go outside. We went to the dog park and took pictures of dogs, and that, that helped my depression. I got outside. I walked around a little bit. Life suddenly wasn't so bad. Like, you, you got to give yourself a fighting chance and go do something else, like... We talk about how our brains are all messed up in the modern era and from you know caffeine and dopamine addictions and things like TikTok and instant gratification. Like you gotta you gotta get away from those things. I just added uh, we were talking about uh, I went to my parents' house yesterday, uh, because they're gonna be moving here soon. I was telling my mom the same thing I was telling Emmy that like now that I've crossed caffeine off my list, so I don't drink caffeine anymore. I don't drink alcohol anymore. I don't eat sugar anymore. I don't smoke. I don't do anything like weed or anything like that. I, I just, I have nothing. I have no, no fun little dopamine triggers in my, uh, in my life right now. Um, I really need to find something. I need to find a bad habit is what I need. I know that sounds weird, but I need at least like, I need one vice, right? At this point, I'm basically like, a teetotaling Puritan. <laughs> like, it's God and wife and nothing else for me. Like, I need... I need a vice. I need something to occasionally be bad with. And I don't know what that is. I guess Warhammer. I guess buying... What, what's more destructive for your health? <laughs> Eating a little bit of sugar or buying a $5,000 piece of plastic? Oh, there's a fox. Hello, little fox. You are going to get absolutely decimated here. Sorry. Where your dopamine? I do enjoy streaming. I definitely do enjoy talking with y'all. It does brighten my day. And there, there are some days where I'm depressed where it helps a lot to just come stream and chat with y'all and have have a good time. So you're not 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 off on that. You're not not totally wrong. Ooh, avalanche. Let's decimate this dude. Kablow. Untouched. Experience points. Okay. And most importantly, what's the blueprint we got? A calendar? I don't necessarily know why that's useful, but I, I guess... Okay, we got a calendar. I need to get better at painting. I'm, I'm starting to enjoy painting. I've been doing some uh, Warhammer miniature painting, but it's not great. I've only got like one or two that turned out really good. And I've decided that there is an army that I want to really play as, and I painted them, and I'm not happy with it, so now I've got to figure out... How do I remove all the paint from my army? And I know some people talk about like acetone. Some people said if you use um, pine sole, that works really well. So I don't know if you uh, paint very much, Bubble, but if you've got if you got tools to 
or advice on how I can de-paint a miniature, I'd love to hear it. What happened to Crochet? I just, I didn't enjoy Crochet, to be honest. I just wasn't vibing with it. Paint Thinner? See, I, I thought about Paint Thinner. The problem is it has to be... Oh, a greenhouse. It has to be good enough to strip paint, but it also can't hurt plastic. And there, there are certain things that will hurt the plastic. But I wanna, I wanna depaint my entire army, and I wanna repaint it as a bumblebee army. So I wanna make them black and white, or not black, black and white, uh, black and yellow. So I've got to take all the paint off of them and then redo it. So. That's boring, but also fun. All right, let's see if we can get up there before we time out. And then there's there's another set of minis that I want to want to enjoy, but uh, they're bird people. I want I want uh, bird people so that I can paint them like flamingos and make little flamingo dudes. Acetone will hurt plastic that sits on there, but if you remove the paint and then wash the figure, you'll be fine. Good to know. Do I have... Decoration station? Where's a... Do I have a ladder? Is there a way to make, like, a ladder or something? I don't see a ladder. I'm guessing it's not the wood path. I'm guessing this is just like a path path, but we'll try it. Yeah, that doesn't work. Interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, I a lot of people like soak them in something for like a week and then they just take a toothbrush and they just brush off all the paint, so. Maybe, maybe I'll need to do something like that. I'm just really excited to paint them again. I got neon colors, so like a neon yellow with a dark black, I think will look really cute. Cute little bee people. Uh, all right, let's vault this guy. Bash him, take him down, charge up the capacity. I haven't sealed them. I used um, Army Painter Speed Paint. It's a very thin paint, so it comes off decently easy when I last time I just used like uh, rubbing alcohol and it, it came off pretty easy. So. Maybe I'll just have to do that. I also have, uh, we, we got figures coming for um, Rumble Slam, so I'm gonna have some wrestlers to paint here soon. Very excited to paint the wrestlers up. Very happy with that. I'm just gonna have to like buy lily pads, I think. They have so few, so few lily pads and they're so powerful. I guess that's why there's not a whole lot of them. All right, up here, going to the tip top. Talk to Cleo. Okay, now that we know how to get over here, we just need to build a bridge. There we go. Okay. Get some cleansers. We gone in here. Okay. All right, let's head to bed before we pass out so we don't lose our progress.
get our smelter going so we can get some iron ingots because we need those. Oh, can I only do one at a time? Interesting, all right. Go to sleep. And I guess we'll check out the calendar and see. Oh! Okay, so there's skill trees. We've got one point in foraging. Spirits that are lower level than you run away from you. Increase light radius. Link to the grass. 50% <laughs> chance that crops drop coins when cut down. See, Legend of Zelda reference. Scallywag. 5% to catch a treasure chest. More likely to catch silver fists. Ooh, okay. So that's fishing, pirates... Trees drop more wood, more of that. Looks like Link to the Grass will be important because we need those. Agriculture can get crop self for more. Propagator. Herbology. Extra stamina. Archaeology. Okay, that's cool. I didn't know that there was going to be a whole, like, thing. A whole skill tree. All right, let's build. We can build a calendar. We have cloth. We can build sprinklers with a little bit of iron ore. Two, three. All right, we built a calendar. I have a feeling I'm going to be sorely disappointed by the calendar, but let's, uh... Oh, okay, so we can see people's birthdays and such on there. That's good. That is useful. Okay, so, yep, you can only do one thing in the furnace at a time. So that's, uh... Slow and steady, I guess. We need to make some money so we can upgrade tools. Sell the gemstones. Ingots sell for a lot. Okay, so we can make money with ingots if we want to make some money that way. Pick up treasure chests for a little boost of money. Uh, let's see. Let's level up our dudes. Capacity. Do more. More damage. Thunder wave for sure. Grab another bash. B, let's feed you a... Let's remove one card from the deck. What do we got here? Let's remove just a basic tackle. Do a one, two. Don't need any of those. And we'll feed you a removal talisman as well. And we'll just drop a tackle. Grave robbing. Uh, no, let's let's not learn to grave rob. Let's grab the one two. Oh, and another one, too. Okay. We need armor-breaking abilities, so that is what we wanted. Those guys are a little bit more powerful. We've got some stuff selling. All right. Back to exploring.
All right, let's just go south, I guess. We're just trying to earn resources, earn money. Uh, I guess I haven't really talked to the townspeople a lot. I guess I should uh, work on talking to townsfolk and leveling up that part of the game. Let's see what's down here. Just going to float along gently. On the, um, on the Christian forums yesterday, uh, someone was asking, is it a sin? Is it a sin for men to wear underwear that is made with color? So like red underwear or green underwear, because they said that color is usually associated with uh, femininity and therefore wearing that might be seen as wearing women's clothing. And they were wondering if that was a sin. And I know that we've made fun of the, uh, the Christian forms a few times for their absolutely outrageous takes. But I got to tell you that that was some next level outrageous. How could you possibly think that that is a sin? <laughs> loud T-Rex is here. Hello, loud T-Rex. Good morning. Welcome. How's the streaming life going? I know you just uh, hit a an associate affiliate not long ago. You've been super enjoying that from the sounds of it. That's wild. It really was wild. Like, it was one of those things, like, I, I don't even know how you get to, like... How, how do you even logic into that? Like, the... It just it requires such an outrageous amount of, like, stretch of the imagination. Oh, I recognize this island. We have a treasure map for this island. Oh, is that a is that a house or is that a monster? Magic man's here. The winds blew me here. It's almost too late. Magic Man used to call you Waldo, but now you're just Magic Man. Live in a chicken house. Yeah. I think I did something. I need something undoing. Losing your mind. Losing memories. Find scattered memories. Sure, why not? All right, we're rebuilding his mirror for him. Sure. His moving house kind of scared me. I thought he was going to come stomp on us with his chicken house. Ooh, lots of lily pads. Let's grab those. We need lily pads. Lots of lily pads. Another treasure map. Okay. An ice cream cone. Moonstone? What are you? A float. Give him the old one, two. That's wild. It was absolutely wild. There are a lot of things on the Christian forums that just make me shake my head, but that one by far was one of the one of the worst that I've seen recently, at least. And again, it's one of those things we talk about this a lot, but like when we ask questions like that, like we don't want we don't want people not to ask questions, right? We want to encourage people to to ask questions, but at the same time, like, do you really think so little of God? Like, you, th you think that you're going to get to heaven and God's going to be like, well, 
you were a good person, but you wore underwear that was blue colored, so eternal damnation for you. Like, you think so little of God that that's, that's what you're thinking? <laughs> Sounds like a question for someone who wants to start something. It's... It's possible there. There is a lot of trolls, of course, online uh, on both sides. There are a lot of Christian trolls. There are a lot of atheist trolls. So um, you know, it, it's very possible that it was not uh, sincere. All right, where can we fly? I don't think we can fly anywhere from here. We've got like this whole. Okay, so this counts as the edge, so I guess let's fly. <laughs> Just imagine. That's what I'm saying. Like, whenever people ask these questions, I try to remind them that, you know, you're talking about an all-powerful, all-loving being. Do you really think that, that he's going to judge you for, for such a petty little thing? And... It's also, like, I think people have such a messed up idea. Like, they don't understand why things are a sin or why things are bad. They're just told, like, oh, that's a sin. And then they can't figure out, well, how do I know what's a sin or not? And so I try and educate people. You know, sins are a disordered desire. It's, it's taking something good and doing it for not intended purpose. So, you know, that's why, like, gluttony, for example, everyone has to eat. Eating food is not a sin. But when you stop eating food for nutrients and you're eating food just for for pleasure, for dopamine, that's when it starts to become a disordered desire. You're, you're using things for the not intended purpose, and that causes issue. Oh, we're, we're barely going to make it to this island if we make it at all. We've got 30 stamina, 28, 27, 26. Oh, it's going to get close. It's going to be real close. 18, 17, 16. Ooh, we made it. Okay, that thing shoots out poison clouds, so we're on some sort of poisonous island with poison flowers and poison mandrakes. That's where when we talk about, like, people get into pornography, for example. That's a disorder. There's nothing wrong with attraction. People are supposed to be attracted to different things. Like, that's that's a part of how humans, you know, procreate in all those different parts of humanity. But when we start using it for, for the wrong reasons, then it becomes a disordered desire, and that's something that we have to fight. No, go back, go back. Balloon. Balloon is going the wrong direction. Okay, this is good enough. We should be able to build... Uh, we need bridges. Okay. Need one more bridge. All right, balloon, do your thing. Balloon? No? There we go, okay. Let's go down. Down. Is there a way for me to tell, like, which way the wind is blowing? Because I feel like I'm just kind of stuck traveling along with this balloon. Because I'm not steering this thing, like, very well at all. I don't, well, there was a dungeon down there I wanted to go check out. Oh. A gecko monster. Emo shroom, a tattle, and a tattle. These guys are level 10, pretty strong. With some vicious poison, we're gonna... We're gonna need to run away, I feel like. This is... this is not good.
Ooh, that poison's vicious. We need to get some poison uh, monsters out here. That breaks through armor and does damage. All right, good to know. We need to come back to the poison aisle and uh, catch us some poison monsters when we're high enough level for it, because those are, those things are monsters. We need a poison team. Spirits. Improve your chances of taming. Can tame up to level 10, level 20, 40. Or increased chances of eggs, barn, eggs, spirit walker. All right, let's upgrade that. Magic man has to come save us. All right, where are we at now? Okay, we're still on the Poison Island. We do not want to be on the Poison Island, so... We need, like, the, the Spirit Barn. I keep seeing stuff on the Spirit Barn. I think we really need to get the Spirit Barn. So let's go talk to the townsfolk and see how we can get some... some of those things. Let's see. Earth Seal... Fix the mirror. Sell some iron ingots. Okay, we can make some iron ingots. We haven't really got many seeds. Tame a level 5 or higher spirit. Okay. What do you got? A random crafting recipe. Spirit barn. Okay, so we need a... a spirit barn. So we're gonna need 5,000 gold and wood and... stone. Okay, so we need to raise some money. What is the new things we got here do? Nightshade reduces vitality of a beast. Okay, so you can throw nightshades to hurt enemies. They're worth some money. Okay. I think we're gonna need to do some fishing for some money. So we need to raise $3,000. Fishing pole. Now time for some cozy fishing. So we can raise some money. I guess we should farm stuff, too. If for nothing else, just to raise up the farming levels. It is a farming game. I guess I should farm. I also heard a lot of rumors, since we're talking about cozy games this stream, uh, there's a lot of rumors that um, 
We're going to be getting a new Animal Crossing update and potentially an Animal Crossing remake. Because there's, there's huge rumors around the new Switch coming out. Switch 2 is coming. But they're also releasing two limited edition Switches, both Animal Crossing themed. And there was an Animal Crossing collaboration with um, the Seattle Zoo. So it really feels like they're going to launch Switch 2. I'm guessing Animal Crossing New Leaf remade for Switch 2. Since they're not going to have a Legend of Zelda game for it. And at this rate, they're not really going to have a Mario game since they're releasing Mario Wonder already. Unless they're launching Mario Maker 3. I'm thinking we're going to get Animal Crossing as like the big launch title for the Switch 2. Which I'm excited for because like the Metal Gear Solid collection is coming out. Here soon, which I'm totally going to play. I love Metal Gear Solid. But Metal Gear Solid 2 runs better on a PlayStation 2 than it does on a Switch. Like, the, the Switch is just so severely underpowered that it desperately needs some oomph behind it. All right, we're spending all day fishing, and we're going to see how how much money can we make from fishing so we can get that spirit barn. We need a spirit barn. I still love my Switch so much. Oh, I mean, the, the, the idea... The Switch has had some good games on it. And I appreciate that Nintendo got the interest in showing that a portable console was still necessary, which has given us the Steam Deck, the Asus Ally, and that's what I'm happy for. Like, the Steam Deck, I'm considering a Steam Deck still, because uh, they they're so awesome. Even though I don't go anywhere, essentially my idea is that I'll take a Steam Deck and I'll use it in dock mode, and that will allow me to to stream using my computer and then using the like Asus Ally as the, the actual computer. And that way I get less of an impact so that the stream is a little bit smoother. So I'm, I'm considering that. And then, you know, when we go somewhere, have a little computer to play some games on, like I dig it. I think that's a great idea. So I appreciate that Nintendo has paved the path for it, but I don't understand why the Nintendo Switch is so absolutely terrible stat wise. I don't mind this fishing minigame, actually. It's kind of cute, kind of fun. Not too hard. Alright, let's go sell the fisherman some fish, since we're supposed to sell him different fish. Show him our hard work of the day. Let's see how much money we have. We have 1905 currently. And let's sell some fish. So we earned, we earned 19.05, so we earned about 800 gold in a day. That's not terrible. And there's some of the things we've sold. Okay, so fishing, fishing is not too bad. I guess we should fly to some other islands. Try out fishing there as well, see what we can find. Uh, we need to start our farm up again. And we need some iron ingots. So let's... Grab that. Craft an iron ingot. Just because Nintendo put all the money into making the screen and portability and didn't care about hardware. And I mean, it's... It's true that the you know they don't they don't necessarily care about graphics as much because if you look at like any first hand Nintendo game and it's not like it's graphically intense or anything like that so 
that definitely does seem to be the way of Nintendo. All right, let's... See, we've got seeds planted. There we go. Let's sell this. Sell these dudes. Dude, that why is selling so difficult? Why does it keep resetting it every time? All right, and we're going to need a ton of wood, so let's use some of our energy to get some wood. I wonder if trees regrow or if I need to find, like, some seeds or something. Because I have not... I have not seen, like, any acorns or anything. I've noticed that, like, if I'm completely silent, just, like, listen. Like, the background noise of the game goes away. There's no background music. Like, it just... It goes silent. It's kind of strange. Like, I hear, like, bird sounds and, like, the rustling of the wind and such, but, like, there's no background music. See, I, I beat one boss now. Oh, I haven't done this dungeon yet. Okay. As I jump off the cliff. Okay, we'll do the dungeon tomorrow morning, I guess. Um, let's reset our day. We also don't need to be carrying around those rare moonstones. We don't need those. We do need iron ingots to sell. I guess, actually, let's keep this in the inventory, because we will need to make those. Maybe I should craft more furnaces. One thing at a time is really slow. Inspired by the way you live with the spirits. I'd like you to help prepare people for the spirit companion. Okay. I thought this was Stardew Valley, but nope. It looks a lot like Stardew Valley, and it plays a lot like Stardew Valley. But it is definitely not Stardew Valley. But that's not a bad thing. Like, it, it does some stuff well. It's got some Pokemon elements to it. Uh, it's got some exciting exploration. Um, so, it's not a clone. It does its own thing. And I think it does it well. There's a lot of people who gave it bad reviews saying that it didn't... Um, it didn't do anything well. And I, I don't know about that yet. I mean, the Pokemon aspects are a little... Little weak. I don't know how I figured that out. <laughs> I just, but we did it.
I don't know if that was pure dumb luck or what. Dusty, the level one. Oh, we've, we've kind of out-leveled this area, I think. Whoops. Sorry, Dusty, you're going to get absolutely wrecked because we uh, accidentally ignored this cave at the start. 6,960 channel points. Yeah, y'all y'all save up a bunch of channel points. <laughs> I guess I gotta get more interesting things for you to redeem them for. Stone path, a moonstone, a cleanse potion. I guess I have to set up my channel better. Run! I have 40,000? That is a lot of channel points. All right, boss time. Not scared of you at all this time, boss. Let's see. Let's bash him. Charge the B up. Bash, bash, charge the B. Keep bashing him, keep removing that armor. He broke my B. Okay, we kind of out-level him a little bit, so we're okay. Alright, let's deal some damage this turn. Uh, tackle him for 13. A little 1-2 punch. Alright, we did some damage. Ah, uh, we were hoping to get that avalanche. Avalanche would have been super helpful to have. Dude, stop attacking my bee. Do a little bit of damage. really wants to smash my poor bee. Eleven HP. I just need more. We want B to get some experience, but nope, he's gonna die. Sorry, B. Oh, he lived! He hung in there for me. Got the memory shard. Some money, a stone fence, and a concoction. That's not ominous at all. And now we get a little bit more energy. Perfect. All right. Let's 
sell some stuff. Make some money off those potions. Lots of money. Okay. Guess let's get some more wood for the spirit barn. Let's clear out a nice area. Since we're close to the 5,000 goal, we need 150 wood. Or make the trees extinct on this town. <laughs> I do have a picture I want to show y'all at the end of today's stream. I was saying that we went to the dog park because of depression to go take some pictures of dogs. And this husky was the derpiest little husky I've ever seen. And when we took pictures of him, it was just his tongue was hanging out. There was a, a dog that was growling that was just like all hair. Like you couldn't see the dog at all. It was just, just pure hair. Hilarious. Um... It looked like a renaissance painting, so I can't wait to show that to you guys. Let's see, almost 150 wood. We're almost there. And then we'll need to carry some extra wood for bridges and such, so we're just going to keep... We're going to keep chomping trees. Maybe the trees will regrow with the season. Maybe like when it turns to summer, they'll be like cherry trees or something like that. And then fall, there'll be different kinds. Of, maybe that's how we're going to get different trees is when it re restarts. All right. I wonder. Let's go back in here for a second. I don't remember seeing it, but let me check. Oh, that was a balloon. Ooh, those things don't play around. 20 damage. A rug. Seven, six, five. All right, so we do. Oh, okay, so it doesn't max you. I thought, okay, this thing's got, um, fills you back up. I thought we could cheese the game a little bit here and just come to this fountain and refill my stamina to max every day since I live right next to it, but it only gave me about 50. Oh, maybe 60. So it does not fill you up. I guess that. I guess that's smart. I guess they, they figured someone would try and cheese the game by doing that. Uh, so a little bit anti-cheesy material. I dig it. That was weird. I'm pretty sure that's not what that sound was supposed to make. That was a weird one. Uncommon cards appear. Trader. Upgrade cards when ending and adding them to the deck. Close call. 
additional transform. Okay. These are all good, but get the energy boost and then we need the rare cards. Made some money. So it looks like I can make a lot of money if I make potions. And potions shouldn't be terrible to make. I can make the, the glass bottles. And I can almost make a moonstone enchanter already. I've got the moons. I think I have enough moonstone to do that, in fact. So we might have to, to do that. A wooden creature in Cleo's book, Oakley, Oak Topher. Okay. Well, I've been at it for an hour and a half. I hear Emmy is awake, so I think it's time for me to get up and start the day. So before I start, as promised, um, I want to show you this photo. So let's let's pull up the photo really quick. Uh, DSLR, dog park. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so this little husky, like, look at that face. Look at how absolutely adorable that dog is. The, that, the happiness, the tongue flopping, like, that is a happy husky. Absolutely adorable. But then there's this dog. Super cute. But this, like look at look at those teeth. Look at how like you can't see his eyes. All you see is a mouth and teeth. Like to me, the his face, the anger. This, to me, was like a Renaissance painting. You can see all the husky hair flying in, in the air. Uh, this one, though. This was my absolute favorite photo of the day. Like, his eyes, his feet off the, the ground, his butt in the air. Like, this... This was my favorite photo of the day, by far. I love this derpy dog's little face. Uh, and then there was this like poodle, little poodly thing. Like, it was just glowing in the sun. Cute little dog. And I thought this was actually, like, as far as like good pictures go, I think this was a good picture of the husky. But, yeah. Very cute. Love going to the dog park and taking photos of dogs. And this guy was just so photogenic, so funny, so much fun. All right, let's wrap it up with our prayer. As always, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, thank you for this blessed day. and Thank you for all that you do for all of us. Today, I pray for the conversion of souls, Lord. I, I hope that you can help people to, to come to you, that you can help change hearts and minds, soften the world's anger towards you, Lord, and help them to accept and see your love and come home to you, Lord. We pray for all those who are struggling with mental illness, with physical illness. Lord, help to heal all those who are in need of your healing. We pray for those who are still struggling from the wildfires, from the natural disasters, hurricanes, tornadoes. Lord, help all those people who are at a low point in their life and struggling with all sorts of things, survival and money and stress. 
Lord, be with us all. And finally, we pray for those who have no one left to pray for themselves as holy souls in purgatory. Lord, help them to enter your everlasting kingdom of love. All this we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining me for a quick waking up with waffles session. It was good to see you all today. It's good to just chat and play some chill games. Like I said, I am on vacation, so I probably will be streaming a little bit more this week as we have some PTO and some time to actually do it. And I will see you all on Monday. Have a blessed day.